We're gonna have a Halloween special. I'll be unboxing a new pipe today. See that old pipe that I made, if you go a couple videos back, um, didn't work out. I decided to invest in some quality briars. I got two of them. I got a, a Savinelli, which I'll be unboxing in the next video, and this new Viking pipe, which is a newer brand that I haven't heard of until recently. And I've never tried Frogmorton because I was a diehard aromatic smoker back when I first started, and then of course McClelland went out of business. And Frogmorton is named after Frogmorton the town, which is in the east farthing of the Shire. Now East Farthing is supposed to be Sutliff's newer, better, improved version of Frogmorton. Mature Red Virginias, stoved burly and aged Latakia with a hint of sweetness. Let's move the camera and start getting into these. Let's see what we have in here. Now I'm usually a specific type of pipe shape lover and this is not that shape, so this is gonna be interesting for me to try out. Well, that looks kind of nice. Ah, yes, this I can get behind. Now that is quite beautiful. I am really partial to uh, tiger eye style finishes and I also really like mocha, um, mocha style bits. I don't know why, it's just something that's always been, uh, it always hits for me, you know? It's either this, like super classy stuff like this, or corn cobs, nothing in between. Let's go smoke this, but first, let's get the tin note of this. This is my first ever actual tin, because I always buy bulk bl blends, because I'm just that kind of guy, I like being thrifty like that, but uh, I figured since this is like a treat yourself type of thing, and it's Halloween, might as well try something a little bit mystic, right? This is a, uh, <laughs> A Chinesium FU42 Benchmade Model 42 uh, Balasong clone. It's actually steel, so it weighs a ton, but it's one of my favorite crappy knives. It's just so fun. Crack this. Now, I went to look online, and this actually doesn't even exist really on tobaccoreviews.com yet. How do you? How do you open these? Sorry, I'm a millennial. I'm not really used to cans. <laughs> ah. God, I hope you're all laughing at this. It's rough cut flake, like that. A little bit of leather, just a little bit, just a topping of it. A fruit. Um, vanilla bean? Just a hint of vanilla bean. Campfire. This almost reminds me of like, if Lane HGL smelled way better and tasted better, because I feel like this is gonna taste better than that too. Oh wow, oh that's, that's moist. Moist enough to where I wouldn't smoke it out of the tin. I would put this on a paper towel and leave it for 10 to 30 minutes before I packed a bowl with it. Nuts, roasted coffee. citrus and a little bit of hay from the Virginias. You can smell the Latakia, but it's honestly, this is not enough to offend anyone. Like when I opened HGL, when I showed my woman HGL and she took a tin note of that, she immediately pulled away and said, nope, it smells like a hotel fire. <laughs> this is noticeably different. Actually, in fact, why don't, why don't I just grab some HGL? Nope, okay. Yep, very different. Never mind. This smells like a Vermont barn that caught fire with livestock that uh, only vacated hours beforehand. <laughs> so, um, not like Lane HGL. Lane HGL is a lot more of, of an offensive note in the tin. This is, see now this opens up. This has plum, dark fruits, not cherry, but dark fruits, a little bit of nectarine, like, like rotting nectarine, but like the good kind of rotting. I'm looking forward to this one actually. What else can I compare this to? Here I have a little bit of Bur Sutliff's Burma Road. Wow. It's almost like, this is like Burma Road mixed with a little bit of Sutliff's vanilla custard. So there's vanilla in here. Brownies. <laughs> Can't believe it. Brownies. Let's go outside. Pretty amazing.
We find ourselves at the Hartness Airport right now. This is one of the few airports that Charles Lindbergh, a great man in his right, he landed at this airport on his way across the Atlantic Ocean about a hundred years ago. I'll dedicate this one to him. East Farthing in a Viking pipe. That's delightful. It's simple. It's simple. You can taste a lot of Kia in it, but it's not the um, it's not the tire fire type. It's more of like the campfire smoky type, which is pretty seasonal right now. Oh yeah. I get a little bit of hay from the Virginias. There's black Cavendish in this as well, which is uh, pretty aromatic. I really enjoy this. I mean, I enjoy most blends, but this is this is a different kind of enjoyment. This is like a, like a top three. I can tell already this could easily be an all day smoke. So what do you think? Do you like this shape? I like the shape. I think this is a, uh, I think this is a very cool shape. It's very comfortable. You know what, that's what the tobacco is too. This is a comfortable tobacco. If you're someone that's been smoking aromatics your whole life and you wanna try branching out, I really recommend East Farthing. There's a little bit of, um, just like the slightest hint of vanilla to it. Vanilla and campfire. There's a hint of incense to it. Not the kind that'll like burn your eyes, but the type that's like, it's in the other room and it doesn't linger. Some of you that haven't been smoking that long, not that I have, I've, I've only been smoking for a couple of years, um, you're probably wondering why I'm smoking my pipe a little different, a little differently than what you're used to seeing. It's called the breath method, and if you're unfamiliar with the Mutton Chop Piper, shout out Mutton Chop Piper. He has many, many videos about it, and I suggest you go check it out because it's a really wonderful way of enjoying pipe without getting tongue bite and getting a good full flavor profile out of it. Speaking of flavor profile, on a scale of no flavor to way too much bad party guess, this this falls at like a three. You know, I would, I'd probably put it a hair above uh, lane 1Q. <laughs> um, not in the taste, but like in the amount of flavors you get. Now that's not to say that it doesn't have some complexity to it, some pondering to it, but it's a simple blend for a simple day. You ever just try a blend and immediately you know that you like it? That's what this is. doesn't have any rough edges really. That's a very well-behaved tobacco. Now I heard that Sutliff also makes a blend called English Aromatic. Just straight up English Aromatic. 
and some people are saying it's the exact same blend, just in bulk instead of a tin, and others say it's very similar. So when I eventually run out of this, which won't be soon because I don't smoke that much, I'll go ahead and give English Aromatic a try and see if it really is indeed the same. So this airport I would hang out with my father at from age eight and up. My father was a pilot. He was a, a small aircraft pilot. He was licensed for twin engine, but he actually liked he liked single engine for some reason. And uh, he flew a V-tail Bonanza. So you aviation enthusiasts already know what that is. And no, my father was not a doctor. Don't worry. At the age of 13, I lost my father. Sometimes I come out here because uh, this is where I spread his ashes about 10 years ago. I've made peace with the fact that my father passed away when I was so young, but I do miss him sometimes and that's okay. Yeah, as men, we live in a society where we're either shunned or overly embraced for feeling our feelings a little bit too deeply. And a lot of the times we go and expect our feelings to be understood by everyone, but what seemed to come up time and time again is that the only people, at least in my life, that really understand my my reaction, my emotional reaction to certain times of my life have been other men. I used to shun that idea, I used to not like that at all. But over time I've grown not only to be at peace with it, but also understand that that's okay, that's perfectly normal. Within the human genome it makes sense that men would get along with men and women would get along with women, and there's nothing wrong with that. That being said, we always want to do our best to make sure that the people around us are happy, regardless of gender. Or sex. I don't know, I'm getting really close to getting demonetized on this one just because it just said that. <laughs> Even though I'm not saying anything bad. But I don't care. Because on this channel we like to be direct and honest. You might not know my real name, but I don't think it really matters. I'm just a jerk smoking a pipe, right? And in my other videos I'm just a jerk riding a bike. This is the most mildly spicy and mildly aromatic tobacco I've ever had in my life. It's the kind of tobacco that you can smoke when you want to ponder and let your mind wander. But it's also the kind of tobacco that you can smoke if you're doing light, mindless activities like coating your boots for the winter or chopping wood, where you don't have to focus 100% of all of your brain power on one thing. Although I think if you're doing some math problems or writing a book this is also another good blend for that. I mean, many blends can be good for those, but... This is a jackknife. You can just as easily have it out as you could just have it put away. Sutliff East Farthing. The best party guest. It's on time when you want it to be. It can be fashionably late. And it knows when to leave without you saying a word. This Viking pipe smokes pretty well, actually. I did make one minor modification to it. Some of you are not going to like this, but... I drilled out the tenon so I can fit a little 6mm Savinelli filter. Nicotine level. It's almost non-existent. You have to really go at it or you have to retrohale in order for you to get any sort of nick high which is fine by me because I don't smoke for the nicotine. I smoke just because I like the flavors and it's fun. There's no Perique in this blend and there's not too much Burley either. So that being said, I don't think it would be unloved by Burley lovers. I wasn't in the YouTube pipe community when Matches 860 was there. That man was really relaxing to watch. If you haven't watched any of his videos yet, even if you're not a smoker, you're not interested in pipes at all. This guy is like watching a grandfather talk. It's awesome. It's gonna be one of the last few good weather days here in Vermont. So I'm out here savoring it, really. 
The sunset's beautiful. The moon's out. I'm in one of the calmest places in the state right now. And in a way, I get to spend time with the memory of my father, if not whatever is left of his energy. It's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Life is really weird. All these people that over the years have said life is like this, life is like that. No, life is life. It really is because no two people have the same one. Identical twins don't have the same life because everyone has a different brain. Anyways, it's getting dark, so. Much like the tales of Tolkien himself, it's time to uh, embark on a journey back home. <laughs> We're at the end of this pipe anyways. But it was quite enjoyable. I, I gotta say, 10 out of 10 would recommend 8 out of 10 smoke, which is pretty high for me. I don't normally enjoy a tobacco this much right off the bat. Yeah. I definitely recommend trying it. Pick yourself up a tin, just one, and just try it. If nothing else, it's an experience, it's fun. And this is the kind of blend I feel like English and aromatics lovers would both be able to to come together on and agree upon. It's It sounds like I'm describing another blend that died a long time ago, an old familiar frog on a log. Unfortunately, I never got to try Frog Morton. I'm not looking to buy a can of it for $1,100 or whatever ridiculous price people are selling it for right now. But they described it as a simple English aromatic for simpler times. And that's what I'm describing this as. And you know what? If you can't enjoy that, well, maybe you're a little bit dead inside and you need to check out what's going on inside. You know, do some... Uh, introspection there. Yeah. Well, this pipe's done. This is my Viking pipe. That was East Farthing. I'm Manny Marvelous. And this has been a little pipe adventure. Stay safe out there. Stay marvelous. Peace out. Until next time.